So this episode started out with Marceau and his brother. <clears throat> they ended up going to a piece of land that I'm guessing that they purchased that's in North Huntsville, which y'all already know is the up and coming area that they've been talking about. And so they went out there. Marceau is clearing trees off the land in order to make room for them to start building on it. So they were talking to their sons. They brought their sons out there. They wanted to teach them a lesson about, you know, being able to keep things, have things that's in your family and being able to pass things down. So I hate to say it, but pretty much 99% of this season so far, Marceau has been saying things that I really appreciate. And normally I cannot stand anything that comes out of his mouth. I just usually cannot. So I'm very pleasantly surprised and I'm kind of proud in the same token at the same time because of especially what uh, he's been bringing to the table as a late. <clears throat> But yeah, so anyway, he was talking to them and he was like, you know, I want to be able to have something that I could pass down from generation to generation. And I could relate to this because my grandfather, who was my father's father, who is no longer with us, he passed away in 1986, but I did meet him and I very much remember him. And, uh, well, no, 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 y'all, I'm lying. It was 1988. Yeah, 1988, and um, which means I was four years old, and I remember him, and I, my mama always used to wonder how could I remember stuff when I was so young, but I really do remember him. I would tell her stuff, and she'd be like, how do you remember that? And it wouldn't be something that her or my daddy or my grandmama told me. It was legit stuff that happened but it wasn't something that they told but anyway y'all my grandfather was a sharecropper and he always believed in home ownership he wants you to be able to have something that nobody could take away from you so he wanted to buy land and keep it in the family so that's what he did he bought land we have land down um in the community that I'm from and my mama and daddy lives on that land and the way that Marceau and his brother have everything set up or they are attempting to have it set up or whatever what they're the goal that they're shooting for is what I'm presuming they are doing so the way our setup is we have our house my grandfather when he was alive um long before I was even thought of him, a couple of my uncles, whether they were married into the family or they were blood born, um, and you know, that's about it. They went and they dug a man-made pond and they filled it up with water and they put fish in there and did all this stuff or whatever. So the pond is right directly in front of our house. Then off to the side is one of my aunts. She lives there. And then my cousin, I have one cousin who lives near her and that's my aunt's daughter. She lives like kind of off to the side of her and um, she is a graduate of Alabama State University and very, very, very successful. And you would think with all the success that she has that she would have moved to the city or moved to a big city far, far away from Montgomery, Alabama, but she's still there. And she prefers to live in the country and not in, in the city limits. And um, yeah, but yeah, she's very, very successful. She has celebrity clients that she services and all of that. So yeah. Um, and then off to the side of her is one of my other aunts. She has a house. And then across the road from her, another one of my aunts. She's there with her husband. And before my other aunt moved away, she had a trailer up from where my grandmother's house used to sit. So all in all, initially it was only my grand my grandmother's house on the land. 
And um, my last aunt, she has land, but it's another part that's like maybe five to seven minutes away from there. But she lives off there, over there by herself and what with her husband. And that's how it goes for us. But it is our land. It's the family land. Taxes are paid on it every year. And it's in our family. There have been people who have been trying to get the land from us because the land, like where it's off from the rest of the family members, it's a lot of land over there that is not being used that my father and one of my uncles, they actually, uh, what do you call it? I guess you call bail it. They bail hay from it or whatever. And it's just a lot of stuff you can get out of there. You can get firewood from out of there. It's a lot. I used to love going and playing up in there, but as I got older, I was like, oh no, the, the snakes and things. I ain't got time. Like we lived in the woods woods. That part where my aunt and uncle lived, it's the woods woods. So yeah. Um, But yeah, I feel as though that situation is similar to what Marcel and them are trying to do. But my aunt, my grandfather did all of that with the sole purpose of us being able to have something. For him to be able to say, I have something. I have provided something for my children and my children's children and possibly their children to be able to have as a part of my legacy. So he was trying to talk to the, their sons about all of that and they was just looking like, okay. <laughs> and my thing is, I feel like when they get older, they will appreciate it. And I don't, I'm not trying to say they don't appreciate it now or that they don't care, but it was just like, it looked as if it was falling on deaf ears, but I'm like, they're kids. They ain't trying to hear all that. <laughs> they ain't trying to hear all that. So I am glad that he did bring that up because it is important, especially if you can do something like that for you to be able to do it because I wish I was in that situation right now. I wish I had the money to do, to do all of that because there is still a lot of land and if I had the money, I would be building a house from the ground up. That has always been my dream to build a house from the ground up on our family land. So hopefully that will still happen someday. I kind of don't want to go back home now uh, because I have been away for so long. But I might. I might at some point end up going back home because I had a lot of things going on before now. And so... We'll see. So yeah, moving right along to the next scene. Melody is looking for a place to stay because her husband or ex-husband-to-be is dead set on not moving. She has already told him that whatever the house was that he was living in before when he had to get out, that they can go back and forth between that. She says, I'm not doing that. The children will stay put. I'm not moving for where, from where I'm going to be to do all of that. So she's house hunting and Destiny is the realtor. And I think Destiny looks amazing with that house tooth dress she has on. You can tell she's getting her snap back on. She looked good. She looked good. My thing is, ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of me. But don't be looking like you bussing out of stuff like a can of biscuits she didn't look like that that dress looks really really nice on her it really does and that house i think that house looked amazing on the inside um for me when it comes to the outside i think that kimmy the house that kimmy has with her husband i feel like that's more my style so i can't say anything for the outside of this house but the inside I liked everything that was going on on the inside of the house it's a really really big house Melody is pretty much sold on it she's making it seem like they're drawing up the paperwork and she gonna sign it so I'm guessing that's where she's going to move it was an amazing view and all of that so um while they were walking around they were talking and Destiny brought up the fact that Mar um uh, I was about to say Marceau <laughs> she brought up the fact that Martel did come by and he was talking and he implied that she had been cheating and all this other stuff. And so she was, she was like, I'd already been gone. I already moved away from the house. We ain't been together. He been trying me for five years and I'm done with you. 
if we done, I ain't, I ain't been dealing with you for five months. Why do you think I can't live my life? So she was like, I can do what I want to do. I'm not with you anymore. So you mad why? But yeah, um, she seems like she's happy. Hopefully everything will go okay with their deposition and all that stuff as far as how the TV show is going, going to be rolling it out. We'll see. So Letitia stopped by to see Kimmy and Kimmy made some lemonade. And so she was like, um, do you have some tequila or some alcohol or something in this? And so she was like, no. <laughs> she was like, oh my gosh, come on. I just left three whole kids at the house. So she went on ahead and allowed that to be the situation. And they went outside with a bottle of tequila and their lemonade and we're talking. So she let her know that Marceau, that's what I'm going to say. He bought 10 acres of land. <laughs> let me stop being shady. Marceau bought 10 acres of land and she was wondering and kind of trying to pump it up in Kimmy's mind, trying to see if she would be willing to come and be a part of the family over there. Would you be willing to build something over there? And she's like, um, I like where I am. I like my privacy. I like being able to do what I want to do. And she was like, but you'll be around us. It'll be exactly how it is right now, except it'll be family. So she was like, but I don't want to see y'all like that. I like being able to just be off to myself. And in her confessional, she was like, you know, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the house that God brought to us. And I'm like, I know that's right, girl. <laughs> so anyway, they talking. She let her know that Martell popped up. And then she was like, you know, she was, she said something about how, uh, you know, the divorce was brought up and that he really acknowledged that it was what it was. And Kimmy brought up closure. And so she was like, well, if it can be that simple for them, why can't it be that simple for you and Melody? And she was like, Melody's a mean girl. Melody's a mean girl. And that's why you know how she is. And so she was like, well, I'm trying to look at it from her perspective because of the way that you came off that day. And so she was like, well, you know, my heart, you knew I was, you know, where I was coming from. But Kimmy, I like Kimmy. I really like her. Kimmy be just, she just, Kimmy is, is like my spirit animal a little bit. <laughs> like she really, like she, she sees my perspective in a lot of the things that go on. She'll sit back and observe something. But then people would try to make you want to be on their side. And it's like, but no, though, if you're wrong, I'm going to call you out on that and tell you that you're wrong. Like, don't try to sit up here and tell me I need to pick sides. So she and her feelings... Talking about, I just want to make sure that you really are, you know, on my side. And so Kimmy was just like, I'm here for who, who right, what's right, and all that, or whatever. So they had their little moment and they talked. And that was it. And I'm just like, girl, <laughs> you won't get enough of letting your mama say certain things to you. And then you letting it get under your skin. And then you bringing it to everybody else's attention. And they even looking at you like, what are you even talking about? Melody's mama came by the house while she was packing up her stuff and the kids were very excited to see her. And because this is during a time when COVID was very, very brand new, she hadn't been seeing her mama and basically been keeping her distance. You know, she was very excited to see her because her mama is always trying to be positive and she saw it as a positive light. So she was talking to her and she brought up the fact that he was talking about pushing for full custody and she wasn't here for it. <clears throat> she wasn't here for it. And she told her about how he was talking about, oh, well, we should pick up and just leave and go somewhere else away from here. And so she was like, that that don't mean that. That's just, ge that's just geography. That, that does not mean anything. Because if you're doing what you're doing, you can still do the same thing you was doing before that. And she's just tired of her child going through what she's gone through. And it is so crazy. 
<laughs> it is so crazy that all this stuff has happened because literally this is how it happened with me with my last relationship i was going all the way through the last person i wanted to have any type of conversation with in reference to that was my mama but that was the most therapeutic conversation that i had in regards to my relationship because my mama is a straight shooter first of all so she wasn't gonna sugarcoat nothing and she was not gonna baby me even though it was real raw and it just happened and all of that so i was glad that i had that moment but I learned something about her that I never knew, which was she had literally been in my same exact situation. And I'm talking about the same amount of years and all that. The only difference was the type of, of abuse. Uh, I had been suffering from emotional and mental abuse while she had been suffering from all of them. The main one being physically abused by the person that she had been with. So yeah, y'all. Um, that's why I was, you know, here for her comment about, you know, her mama being a ray of sunshine and her living for the fact that her mama was there and, you know, given the situation as far as what she's going through, she was just so happy to see her mama. So, yeah, I love how, you know, real parents don't want to see their children in a bad situation. So, yeah, y'all, moving right along. Martel is about to have a meeting with someone who he's friends with. And um, am I tripping or did the name of the company change? I think that earlier seasons they had like two different buildings or something or parts to the building and it had different names on it. But I know it was supposed to be like Holt and Holt. Whatever, but I think it said Holt. What did it say? Holt. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I can't remember what it was. If I remember to put it down in the video somewhere, I will um I'll put it. And I've been forgetting lately because I've been so exhausted. But hopefully I won't. But yeah, I don't know why I can't remember the name of it right now. But I saw another name that I don't even remember ever seeing. But anyway, they flashed over that real quick. Um, yeah, before I get into this, I want to say with the last scene when Melody was at the house, y'all, I feel like the camera people were being, production was being shady. <laughs> it was being petty and shady as some more. Why did they pan over to a picture of Melody and Maurice early on? I mean, not Maurice, Melody and Martel early on in their relationship, marriage or whatever, when he still had hair. <laughs> they killed me when they flashed back to them where he still had hair and it was already about to start receding and all that stuff and he was like kissing her back and she was looking into the camera I'm like why are y'all panning over to this picture why <laughs> why is y'all doing this but anyway y'all back to the uh, scene that I was just talking about so he was talking to this guy and of course he wants to now sell that land that they were going to do with the comeback group and um as a uh, a good faith gesture to Marceau he wants to bring him on bring him in on the project and so the friend looking at him like what and then he had to go ahead and break the news to him and let him know that okay yeah we had an agreement that the name of this area that y'all were going to, uh, um, y'all forgot the word. Hopefully the word will come to me. Um, golly. But anyway, he's going to still have a hand in de development. Um, he won't, they, they were supposed to have a role in the development of the area. And, you know, since he's bringing him on in on the project, he looking at him sideways because y'all already know what was going on. And now all of a sudden you want to bring him in on the project. So he looking at him sideways and he looking at him sideways because of his personal life with his wife. He let him know, yes, we are getting a divorce, but not, I mean, nothing's final, whatever. And then he let him know about the fact that he 
talking about he want to get full custody. I'm not understanding why this man was like, oh, no. I mean, this man really was set it off. And he just kept telling him how wrong he was. First of all, he let him know that he is no longer going to be the face of it, even though it was supposed to be called Holt Manor or something like that, Holt something. And he was going to be the face of it. So now, why would you be the face of it? You're going through all of this. The people who are going to be like the developers bringing a lot of the money to the table or whatever because he was going to be the one that was contracted out and all this other stuff. Um, they ain't here for it. They don't want that negative publicity and, and what it could mean to their brand, their reputation and all that by doing all of this with him and him being the face of it and his name being on it. So, you know, at first he was cool with his name not being on it, but you could tell he was, you know, in his feelings because he would no longer be the face of it. He's still trying to figure out why there would be such a problem with Marceau being brought in on the deal, even though he was trying to explain to him that, you know, we were not on the same page, but this is like a goodwill gesture to let him know that, you know, I'm sorry for what I did. I want to make sure you get in on, you know, this project. And I've always had it. But I'm like, why are you lying? Trying to make it seem like every time something pop up, you always thinking of him. You weren't thinking of him when y'all was at it last season. Like, what is the lies for? But anyway, they talking. And this man, see, this is what I don't like about Martell. The man was telling him how wrong he was because Martell has been wrong as two left shoes. So he gonna sit up here thinking that he doing something by telling him, well, what, what, well, you cheated on your wife. He was like, oh, uh, yeah, I did cheat on my wife. We worked through it. We got through it. We got past it. But apparently you ain't finna get past yours. So why is you, br oh, I would have just read him. I'd be like, I did my dirt. Me and my wife got through it. Apparently he either got smarter in how he was doing it and was cheating on her until he got old enough to know that he needed to stop or he actually stopped and learned his lesson and actually showed and proved continuously without doing just a little bit, just a couple of sprinkles, a couple of crumbs, and then just still going out there doing what he want to do. Now, um, Melody brought up that they had gone out to like the beach or somewhere for Mother's Day. And as soon as they got back, he broke the news to her that side heifer, What's her name? Adrian or Arian or whatever her name is. It's pregnant. Arian, I think. And so her mama is done, tired of her spirit. And she's just like, no. Nah. But anyway, <clears throat> of course he neglected to tell this friend that when he was talking to him. Whatever. Anyway, he's just like, look, you, you need to get your life right. You need to get everything right with you because it's just too much going on. Like every time, every second, like every sentence he came up with, this man is just looking like, why am I here? Why am I even here? Like, this is too much that's going on. I don't even understand why I'm here. But yeah, it's like he in his feelings because he's trying to understand, like, why is it that we can't really go forward with all the other stuff? I mean, I'm like, sir, I'm going to need you to understand that these people bring more money to the table than you are. And you are essentially getting, I think he's really going to be benefiting from what they're doing because he's going to be doing work. So it's like, calm down. You finna get paid. They didn't say that they aren't going to use you as a contract service. So be happy in that regard because they could have just went straight on with Marceau and found somebody else to do what you would be able to do. Because one of them do the commercial side of things and the other one do the um, residential. So yeah. They could have just found somebody else to do whatever it is he do. So he should be glad that they still kind of on board a little bit. So, so Letitia and her husband are talking and she is explaining how everything went when she was talking to Kimmy about moving in into that area and building in North Huntsville. She ain't here for it. And so she and her feelings about it. And she was like, I just don't understand why she wouldn't be on board. I look at her as a sister, even though we're not blood related. I felt like if we were to do that, we would be able to get even closer. In my mind, I'm just like, girl, first of all, she has her own family. She already has 
her grown child. She is co-parenting as a stepmother to her husband's child who is there full time um, now. And it's like, what are you talking about? And she is an essential worker. She's a nurse. And she is a realtor. Like, you, what what you think you're going to do? Girl, what is going I'm just like, why I know? Like, she really is in her feelings because she ain't here for all of the stuff she here for. And she was like, I got really emotional. And I guess that she's not at the level that I thought that she was. And, and feel, basically feeling the same way she feels and is on the same wavelength as far as the relationship is concerned. And so, again, I hate to admit it, but Marceau said some things that I can't believe he said that actually make sense. And hopefully she'll take heed. Hopefully she will take heed because he said to her that, you know, because she told me, well, I don't know if I should distance myself from her because I feel like she ain't, you know, she ain't understanding where I'm coming from and and and, and not being the friend that I, I need. I want her to be my friend, whether I'm up or down and all this other stuff. So he told her that what she should do is one of two things, either completely distance herself. If she feel like that's what she need to do, do that or be the friend that that can say, you know what, I'll be there for you as a friend, no matter what. And so she over here listening to it. I mean, I can't believe he talking to like this. So anyway, y'all, I had to pause it because Miss Wanda about to pop, bust up. So, you know, that's going to be a whole nother situation. <laughs> y'all, I'm glad I paused that because the most just happened and I'm tired of my spirit. Y'all, so like I just said, Miss Wanda popped up out of nowhere and she literally did pop up from out of nowhere. Nobody knew she was coming. She didn't send a smoke signal, a text message, or nothing. And so her child asked her, why was she here? You know Marceau wanted to know why she was there. And she was like, well, I had some business to handle. And they trying to figure out what business she got in Huntsville because she lives in Birmingham. So it's like, what is we doing? She lives somewhere in Birmingham or Fairfield or somewhere. That's where they from. That's the part of Alabama they from. So she's trying to figure out what she's doing in Huntsville. Unless she's moved, from what I can remember, they are from Birmingham, Alabama. Anyway, <laughs> those who don't know. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> um, So she was talking to her. And why, y'all, y'all. Oh, child, I'm just wanted to do it the most. Y'all, why she came in there being nosy, asking them had they heard about what's going on with Martell and Melody. She know about the baby on the way. She know about all this stuff. She over here trying to judge and read and do all of this. Meanwhile, she got a wedding ring on. <laughs> Y'all choking. Meanwhile, she got a wedding ring on. And she has a man that ain't her husband. This is a question I have. Why do people who have no intention of being together get a separation? And you ain't got no kids that are babies and all this other stuff. Whether you had kids that are babies or not. Why do y'all get separations and stay separated forever until y'all die and then y'all get with somebody else and then you get in your feelings when you let all this time go by and you one of y'all has found somebody that y'all want to settle down with, but you married. Separated is still married, duh. Separated is still married, duh. I don't understand why people don't understand that. That has always blew me. I'm like, what is wrong? Why don't y'all understand that separated is still married? If there is no divorce decree in hand, you are married. Anyway, I am so through because yet again, Marcel was telling the truth. Like he was just, he was Johnny on the spot with the truth. He was just like, uh, hold up. We need to stop you there because how are you going to try to come at somebody else? When you live in how you living and you sin in the way you sin. He was reading and I was just like, okay, y'all. So anyway, like I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. 
Y'all, I haven't tried to get this video done since this morning. I keep getting interrupted. Anyway, like I was saying, I'm just trying to understand how you gonna sit up here trying to read left and right, up and down, when you got a whole husband. Somebody please explain to me why everybody, why, why so many people sit up here and have separations, get separated, y'all get separated and stay separated forever and a day. Y'all will be separated longer than you were married and just think that that actually is supposed to mean something. I'm just like, you're still married though. You know, people must not understand that. Like, oh, I'm not with them no more. How? What you mean? What do you even mean? Right now, if I was married to somebody, but then I was separated from them, and they end up dying and all that stuff. I, it's, it's, there are so many different things that still will be in place. All because I am not legally legally divorced from somebody. I, I'm not understanding. Like people can have access to certain things. Like it's just a lie. I'm just like, y'all don't think. Just like I've told y'all over and over again. I have a cousin right now who has been married to a random heifer who never wanted to be with him. Because she's always wanted women. I, I just had to figure out how I wanted to say that. But anyway, it was just a convenience for her. I, I guess it was a way to make sure she was going to get some money. Even though he actually has full custody of the child. I ain't finna get into it. It's just a lot. I don't understand. But anyway, he has been married to her for over 10 years. So as of right now, she's entitled to half of his social security whenever he decides to draw because they have been married for all this time separation to my knowledge still works the same way because you are not divorced there has not been a divorce decree presented nobody has signed off on and processed a divorce decree therefore you are still married so i am tied in my spirit because marceau has come through yet again he done came through too many times in this episode, y'all, and I still got 10 to 12 more minutes left. And I'm just like, don't show him no more because I'm tired of him being right. <laughs> I'm just so tired. Like, he was like, let me just stop you right there. Because how you gonna try to come at somebody sideways? You got your wedding ring on, but um, you ain't got no divorce decree in your hand. And you out here thought that bopping. What is going on here? What is going on here? <laughs> Kimmy and Maurice are talking. They are in the office space um, for where he is going to be practicing. And they, I think the way that they have it set up is, is how everybody can do what they're going to do. Kimmy can have it so that she can do what she needs to do whenever she's doing her realtor stuff. Her son can do whatever he going to do when he's doing. I think he's doing like real estate and all that stuff too. And he can definitely, Maurice can definitely use it for when he is actually doing law and all that good stuff. So yeah, she hasn't seen the office in a while because she has been honing in even more on her job as a nurse. And that's been the main focus because of course she's needed more than ever now. So yeah, um, they start talking about how he's basically been over budget and been putting a whole lot more money in to create the space. And he's just making it seem like, you know, it is what it is. I understand I get carried away, but he likes the 3D wallpaper and all this other flashy stuff. And he kind of um, insinuated or just flat out said that, you know, he he's trying to kind of outdo his brother Marceau. And he was like, well, my office looks better than his, doesn't it? And she's just like, I'm not going to say that. Like, what? So they ended up talking about the conversation yet again about them moving or, you know, building on that land that has been purchased. Well, her husband is talking exactly the way that Tisha was talking 
and she ain't here for it. And he tried to make it seem like he brought this up to her once before or several times before. And she basically kind of slow walked him. And he was, she was just like, no, I've always made my stance clear. I said what I said. I don't want no parts of that. I like my space. I like my time. I like being away from people. I like my own personal space. Like, no. So she was, she just like, I understand where you're coming from, but that's just not what I want to do. And she was letting him know that, you know, she can tell that Tisha's feeling some type of way. And it's kind of a bummer because she is still trying to see who all she's going to invite to the party because, you know, her son, um, was I think he is graduating or did graduate but because of COVID they weren't able to celebrate when they wanted to so you gotta kind of rearrange some things so she wants to invite certain people but she's trying to take into account current events that are going on and how it would make the other person feel and her and Leticia are not in a great place right now because of how she's been feeling towards her and so she's just like uh that wouldn't make sense to me but i don't want that tension i don't want her to feel the way that she's feeling but i don't know what to do to remedy that because she thinks i'm not being loyal then i want to invite melody but if i invite her but not her husband slash ex-husband to be then uh he's gonna feel some type of way like it's just too many variables going on so then <clears throat> moving right along to the end of the episode, which is when Melody, we see her actually at her new home. She's outside playing with the kids. They're having a good time. And Martell shows up unannounced. She's on her two to three weeks of spending time with the kids. She ain't here for it. He done told the kids to go in the house while they talk. And so she's trying to understand why he popping up and she ain't here for it. She done told him what you're not going to do is that. Because when I'm spending my time with the kids, this is my time. And he got in the confessional and was like, I'm not going to be here in the same city as my kids and not see them. And I mean, he did mention earlier in the episode when he was talking to the guy who he, you know, was trying to do that, that uh, development with that he's not like a lot of these other men and that he's very active in his kids' lives. And I can agree with him on that from what we've been seeing and from even what Melody has said about him, he is very hands-on with his kids. So, yeah, I get that. So, he's just like, um, I'm going to pop up because I want to see my kids. So, she's just like, I ain't here for it. And then they start arguing really, really bad to the point of where she was like, man, see, this is what we're not going to do. I will slap him. And so, somebody stepped in out of nowhere and tried to get everybody to calm down. Then the argument continued to go on and he was talking about, well, everything you did to me, I did all, everything I did to you, you did to me. And he told her that she cheated and she was like, I ain't never cheat on you. And he was like, yes, you did. You cheated on me. And he was talking about, like every time he says that she has cheated on him, 99% of the time he's talking about, um, lack of sex and times when she didn't want to have sex and from what I can gather and from what I'm remembering they were doing a lot with their businesses even before her um her um hair, what is the skincare line or makeup line whatever it is that she has I'm not trying to um downplay it. I just forgot what kind it is before that even came about before she started adding more to her plate she had already kind of tapped out a little bit because I'm pretty sure like you do all this all day. You tired and you don't feel like, you know, performing all the time. So he was talking about some, well, obviously if you were doing it, giving it up to me, then you was giving it up to somebody else. And she was just like, what? Like she is done and tired. She was like, I don't want to deal with this no more. I ain't talking to you no more. Ain't nothing to talk about. You doing the most. I ain't do nothing. You just making up stuff now. Like, no. And so... For whatever reason, she felt so triggered that she was just like, I don't. She said that she does not give oral pleasure and that ain't never been that thing that she does. That ain't never been her thing. She don't do it. It just is what it is. She ain't going to do it. That ain't what she do. And I was just like, what was the point of her saying that? Oh, okay. <laughs> but anyway, 
eventually just got to a point where he left and she was just like, I'm not dealing with it. But yeah, it was very explosive. Y'all, I'm sorry that this recap review was so long, but I just, a lot, a really, a whole lot really did happen in this episode. So yeah, I'm sorry for that. Hopefully I get me some sleep and then I can focus and cut these videos down because now I'm getting back to the old me and that's not good with these videos getting too long. Anyway, hopefully y'all are having a wonderful day. I'm about to try to go to bed. But of course, as I say that, these children have started to stomp around and I'm just like, why though? Anyway, y'all have a good one and I will see y'all sooner than soon, I hope.